Welcome to the Stoa. The Stoa is a digital campfire where we cohere and dialogue about what matters most at the knife's edge of what's happening now. All right, can I get a thumbs up if everyone can hear me and see my screen right now? Okay, great. So, if you were here last week, then you're already familiar with the premise for these weekly sessions. Um, here we are prototyping digital gangs to help people maintain their sovereignty and to respond to the meta crisis. For tonight, I'm gonna start by quickly reviewing what we talked about last week for the people who weren't here. And then the rest of the time, I actually want to go into breakout groups and actually have more of an in-person interaction. So there will be less talking. Um, but to begin, again, some housekeeping, please turn on your video. Um, if you can do that, go for it. Um, we're only recording speaker view, so you can, you can be a little bit more vulnerable and you don't have to worry about anything personal being shared. Um, also a reminder to use the chat. Feel free to have a parallel conversation. Feel free to ask and answer each other's questions. And also finally lean in to making friends. See if you can uh, find people to follow on Twitter or private message somebody if they share something that you like. Okay. This is really the premise. Like how can we use accountability to maintain sovereignty and respond to the meta crisis? And I'm gonna to try to sum up everything we talked about last week in this singular slide. Um, so this is where we want to go, right? There's a crisis right now and it's unclear what each individual is supposed to do in response to it. Last week we talked about how the quality of our response to this crisis is going to be a product of our ability to make good choices and our ability to make sense of what's going on, to know up from down. And all of that rests on something called personal sovereignty which I defined as your capacity to respond to something as opposed to react to it. Uh, the opposite of personal sovereignty would be when you get emotionally activated by something. And from there, it gets a lot less abstract. We talked about how personal sovereignty is really the product of managing your physiology and managing your addictions. In the camp of physiology, we talked about how sleep, nutrition, exercise, and meditation are the fundamentals. And to the extent that we are practicing these things, we are upregulating our sovereignty. And we talked about managing our addictions and how we live in an environment full of supernormal stimuli, all these uh, dopamine activating vehicles that continually draw our attention away from what matters most. So some examples being social media, news, pornography, and video games. And so managing your addictions is another fundamental step for personal sovereignty. And all of this is going to be upregulated through accountability. And this is what I'm referring to as the uh, the metagame mastermind or these digital gangs. In summary, to manage your physiology, last week we talked about life practices, so maybe waking up early is an example. For managing your addictions, we talked about negations, so deleting your Netflix account would be a negation. And the third category that we started to get into, but it is admittedly the most challenging of the three, was giving your best gifts for the current moment. And that all throw in the camp of our response to the meta crisis. So these mastermind groups that we're prototyping, this digital gang is gonna be in service of these three. And tonight, I wanna to go specifically into this one. What does it mean to give your best gift? How can we take a first pass at discovering what that is? And this first pass idea, I, I, I'm framing it as a provisional purpose. What's basically something provisional, something for a period of time that you can perhaps commit to with a group of people that you can think of as a shitty first draft of your best gift for the current moment. Last week, I got some really interesting feedback about how when you say best gift, it's kind of daunting. It makes you think of something that um, might take you years to discover. And so tonight, we're going to compress that as much as possible and see if we can get a clue as to what that gift might be. Um, here are some clues about gifts. So I took this from uh, this really great article, which I'll share at the end by Daniel Schmachtenberger on how to inquire into what your purpose could be. And he broke it down into these three categories, your capacities, values, and propensities. Capacities refer to what is possible in your life right now. Values have to do with what you think is right. And propensities are what, what are you drawn to? Maybe you're 
uh, your talents are also in this category. So uh, we're going to get into a breakout session, but before I do that, I just want to share this quote that I got from Richard Bartlett, which I think adds another layer of significance to what, uh, what's emerging here. So everyone's been talking about the meta crisis. We're talking about how COVID-19 is just the beginning of, of something bigger and something much more complicated. And there have been many different ways of framing what this bigger, more complicated thing is. And I found this recently. Um, I'm just going to read it to you. I believe that the core of this bio, socio, psycho, spiritual collapse is a meta crisis of relationship. It's about how I relate to the different parts of myself, to other people, and to all other creatures, life, spirit, etc., on this planet. If that's true, then my response must be relational first. The reason why I'm highlighting this is because whatever we explore in the remainder of our time tonight in these breakout groups, it gives us an opportunity to actually respond to this relational piece. To the extent that you are practicing right relation with the person that you're talking to on Zoom, uh, to the extent that you're being uh, as non-egoic as possible or as present as possible in the way that you relate to them, you are doing, by this framing, one small part in responding to the metacrisis. And so I really want to prompt myself first and foremost, but everybody else here, to get out of the frame of, you know, we're discussing something that we're going to do later and actually think we, we're doing the thing right now. And without further delay, let's get into this breakout activity. So these are gonna be eight minute sessions. Um, in a minute, I'm gonna break everybody up into groups of, of two, and you're gonna have four minutes for each person to ask a question to the other person. And the questions will all go into the chat and they will have to do with your capacities, your values, and your propensities. And the goal is to come up with a provisional purpose, a shitty first draft of your best gift for the current moment. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen.